Fab the Mab. Ugh. Ow. I just hurt myself <laughs> trying to adjust my microphone. God, it's so hard. It's, you know, uh, it's the you, let's play curse. Come back to haunt us once more. It is, and we don't even get workers comp. No, Tony, that would be you who would be providing that. Thanks. I, I, I don't think that's true. Here. Ch cheers. No. Uh, so how are things inside the bank? <laughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding safe spots. But then, um... Sorry uh, for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, no, don't worry about it. It's just the, the, god, analgesics? Yeah. Uh, it's just the analgesics still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Mm. <sighs> also, notice that she, like, busted out to the left rather than the fading usual fading out. away. Yeah. Like, damn. That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here... I don't know, I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's still just in shock. Yeah. Um, Gil. Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. Great, so the bar has no bartender. Yep. That was a very thoughtful and nice thing that you just suggested. Also, there's no one to man the bar. Me Four. What? Four. Uh, no. The cat. No, the dog. No, the cat. The dog. The, the dog cat. can... Rad Sheba. I just realized Rad the Sheba. Cat. Okay. No, no. no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you? Oh, life is hard. Wait, wait. Do, do we need to take no, a No, 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 no. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. Too much fine. heavy stuff lately. You know, press A to gate. Oh, but can you also read that line? That's what the line was. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant in relation to what you were just doing. Uh, Check Checking Tumblr? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. That. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, never mind. Tony. I, I, God, I'm just kind of picking bullshit. March of the White. I, I feel like I'm unlocking new songs. Like, probably. Like, probably? I don't know. Whew. Hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Oh, there's your Southern accent. There's my Southern. Also, also, here's our Adam Jensen. I don't know why I didn't put this together, but this is the most Adam Jensen, Adam Jensen ass motherfucker I've seen in a while. Mm. Like that's 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 an Adam Jensen I right there. I don't know who that is. Oh wait, yes I do. You do know who Adam Jensen is. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, Jamie. Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here. I see. Are you all right? You look distracted. I'm fine. Don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, that's convenient. Four? I mean, this is also the future, Tony. <laughs> this is what the future has brought Tony's us. Tony's like, now do they really make ones like that? Wait, do they make them today? I mean, no, but you can have, like, little, very small litter box, like, portable bullshits. Or, like, you can just put, like, a, like, a dog pad, you know, like the ones dogs, that dogs pee on. I love uh, dogs. Where's my cat? Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Gut punch for Jamie. I think it's kind of nice how it uh, recaps things in case you're taking a step away from the game. Yeah, I agree. It is cool. Optional karma cheat. There you go. Here. I thought when someone earned a gut punch, you had to make a joke about giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Man, I was just about to do that. Oh, that 
In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. <laughs> there was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. But it seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it? Yup. Why not tell them that? It's too amusing, to be honest. Oh, no. So what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay. Uh, uh, there are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building, or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing, and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. Huh. Something bitter. That's had too broad a category, though. Maybe something manly would be better? Uh, let's find something bitter and manly. I guess so. That's not gonna be but manly. It's, but it's bitter, girly, and soft. I mean, he just had one of those. He just had a gut punch. Uh, oh, bitter manly burning pile driver. Bitter manly burning pile driver. I feel like I've met people like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. There I know go. one of them. Who? Like a pile driver? Yeah, who? I'm not like any of those <laughs> things! I'm not even a man! No, oh no, I just meant like a pile driver. Ugh. No, you're right. You're, you're right. Here. <laughs> Ah yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. The way that the way that he went, ah yes. Mm-hmm. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they made them stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always manage to make you uncomfortable, Jill. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no. Don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's weird. Reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. <laughs> Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, yes. I know. Good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch. His information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour, or he wouldn't even take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on Jamie's head. James. James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account, before shooting himself. Damn. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using its old targets as proof. 
If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the sea of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals. And then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions. I'm wait, it's, I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. <laughs> that story left my throat a little dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. Ah, uh, yes, the... The big old beer. The hi hydrating, rejuvenating beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, beer. It has to be good. Ugh. Oh, are you okay, bud? I just don't like beer. Yeah, same. I mean, I'll drink some of it. Yeah, sure you will. I will. Yeah, sure you will. Mostly, like, Mexican beer. Mm. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your, in your stride the way Gillian does. Uh, I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting, though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. <laughs> that guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've gotta go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. It's very heavy. Everyone, wait. <laughs> if I say it out loud, I feel like we'll just tempt fate. You will tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. Come on. I sure hope the next client changes that. So you still work here? Uh, I knew it! <laughs> er, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job. I needed a drink badly, and I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding Jane. On it. I forgot about his neck. Like, his neck. Do you remember the neck? I forgot about the neck. The, uh, where it looks vaguely like he might be a robot. Like a robot, or he was beheaded. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that, is that really all Bleeding yep. Jane is? Yeah. No, no karma tree. So do any of these other things have any alcohol? No. Huh. All right. I think so. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So, where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions, and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with this Cilia girl working on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other, and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty mo uh, monotonous at times though. Why aren't you giving me that look? Or why are you giving me that look? <laughs> You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just so happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu crap. 
Even if Zabatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. It's interesting though. A big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. <laughs> Alright, give me a Zen star. Try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Wow, what a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> I had forgotten. We've 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 had so many pleasant interactions recently that yeah. I had forgotten. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 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 no. Oh 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 no. Oh 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 Oh, uh, oh, 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 there you go. That's a Zen star. Here. Oh, right. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why hurry it then? Not your problem. Ah. So, where's the red comet? My boss? She. Chill, forest headed your way. All right, can you take, uh... I, ass, ass fuck. I already have forgotten his name. Ass fuck. Yeah, I can take him. Let's play, four. Let's play. Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here and a cat. The cat's mine. His name is four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well-groomed and his fur looks healthy. <laughs> Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. <laughs> Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. Jesus Christ. You said that last time. I know, it's kind of like his tagline or some shit. Uh, Congratulations, you scared a client off. And hey, I'm going to scare you off the end of this episode, so uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. And think about looking at our Patreon. It's there in the end card and in the video description. Hey, we really appreciate... Mal, it's de it's description. It's description. Descorp... De uh, oh, hold on, everybody. Uh, Mal broke again. Alright, bye. <laughs>